everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to my weekly show, Jenny Likes Children's Books, in which I talk about the literature that I liked as a little person and today I'm going to be talking about two creative books. It's more of a creative thing. There isn't really that much writing other than to explain how it works, but basically, uh, ballet stars of the romantic area, paper dolls. Uh, basically, it's the. Um, oh god, they're, they're piled and they're really delicate. Um, basically, nowadays you can go on the internet, and you have been able to do it for years, um, and you get the paper dolls, and then you, you put clothes on them. Um, and this doesn't really count as a book, more, uh, it's more of a game. Um, than a book, but basically you have some very famous romantic era ballet dancers, um, which are all tangled up and very fragile, um, and uh, you can put them in various costumes, um, and you just pin them on over the top. So let's see if I can find an example. Oh my God, they're so fragile. <laughs> We've got Lucille Graham, and we can put her in this outfit, and so on and so forth. Um, and you clip it on using the bits of paper, um, little paper tabs, and you make a little thingy. And uh, it was something that I really, really liked as a kid. And um, they are very fragile and very old now, um, but I did love them as a kid to play around with ballet dancers. And you can kind of make your own little corpse to ballet because um, all of the standard outfits are pretty standard. Um, what's interesting is you've got like different interpretations of the same ballet characters. So you've got multiple fairies and multiple Giselles and that sort of thing. I'm sorry, this is all off screen. <laughs> this one's missing a hand. Because, um, uh, yeah, I am just having a look at what's here. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this one as a kid. But um, it's, it's been slightly destroyed. Oh gosh. Anyway. Um, that's that one. Uh, I need to very carefully put this all away, so there we go. Um, and the other creative book that I think I can pick up without dropping everywhere is Annabelle's House. I recently saw a new edition of this where it actually um, turns into a full dollhouse, but this one is just, um, you have a door and it's a flat book. Um, so you open up the door and inside you've got, you know, uh, what's inside the box and you've got a little flap there. Um, and you can look around the house and explore, but in the back you also have um, a section of different characters and people that live in the house. Um, so it's kind of like a, a paper 2D um, dollhouse. So you can you know, open it up into a room and you can play around with your characters in that room. Um, and mostly I just used it because I love the artwork. It's very detailed, like worlds that you build within the house um, and you can like set yourself hide and seek challenges within the house like you would with a like a standard dollhouse except it's not a dollhouse it's a flat book um, and you know there's nice little things like you know you can find a rabbit and a frog if you open the door and all of that um, these two books I'm definitely keeping um, but uh, I probably won't play with much and uh, this one I can probably give to relatively young children I think the ballerinas if I do have people, children in my life in the future who are interested in ballet, I'm going to have to wait till they're at least respectfully coordinated um, before I give them the um, ballet stars of the romantic era paper dolls because they are fragile. Um, but I did really, really, really enjoy playing with them as a kid, um, and uh, I think they're a nice tactile way of um, kind of playing with dolls and that sort of thing. So, yeah, those are two creative books for doing like children's books. Um, there we go. Um, I'm glad I've talked about them because they are really great books. Um, and there we go. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys all next week for another Friday episode of Jenny Likes Children's Books. Bye guys. <laughs>